what you are looking at is one of the reasons I really love living in Nevada. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if every county in Nevada does this. I live in Clark County, um, where Las Vegas is. And, um, I, I'm, I'm, and I would expect that if this is happening in this county, that the other counties do the same thing, that they send this out when it's time to vote on whatever. And, um, to help you prepare for voting and whatnot. Um, so this came into came in the mail, um, one for me and one for Cherokee, because we're both registered voters. And it lets you know everything you need to know to um, get your vote on. Um, I, I, I can't even imagine, I, I don't even know how many things I haven't voted on in my life because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know where the early voting was. Um, nobody was trying to keep me informed. Um, so that the only thing I voted on for most of my adult life is who, you know, who the president was going to be, you know, and whatever else was going on at that time when I went in. Um, but this, this is, I love that they send this out and it has everything you need to know about what's going on on the on the vote and where you can go vote and so the first thing you get is your general stuff so this was all about the state representatives here um and some local stuff that um you know so and this also gives you time to look up who these people are you know because you can you can get online and google anybody and say oh what what is this person about are they the person that's going to represent me most popularly and pick um the person that you feel is going to represent you properly regardless of their party affiliation and there are a number of people who aren't republican or democrat doing certain things um and then of course it has the um propositions i guess they're called um or the questions of, that are going to be on there that you're voting on for the state are things that you um you know changes that they want to make and how things are done you know or possible changes and it and it has explanations on each question you know what each question is about um what it will do if if it pass and you know reasons for and reasons against um so yeah this was you know lots of important information here in here for you on you know if you need more explanation on what what is this question about because sometimes the questions are worded a little um I would say above, way above what most the, the the reading level, way above the reading level level most Americans read at. Um, mo most Americans do not even read at a high school level; they read at about a junior high school level, and um, so I I understand that that those questions can can be a little daunting for them. What are they talking about? What do they mean by this? What do they mean by that? Well, there's an ex explanation for you in, in here for it all. And, um, and then it, you know, just loaded with information. Um, like the one question is about feminine hygiene products and, and should we, tax those or eliminate the tax on those i'll say yes eliminate the tax uh, feminine products are expensive as it is and it's a, it's a need i have to take care of uh, you, you know and my daughter has to take care of and on top of it already being expensive you're gonna tax me for it um you know i, I you know, it's just so so i am you know yes get get rid of that tax um you know so because I don't think it's fair to tax something like that. Um, and then also in here, besides your explanations on the questions, you have list 
of the days and the locations of where you can go in and vote vote early and get your vote on and, and get it done and um you know so you can and you don't have to you're not designated to like a specific place to vote um i know in ohio you had to it was divided up and you had to go you had to find you had to figure out where you needed to go to vote and here it doesn't matter any place that has been de designated a voting place you can go in and vote and um so this gives you the time to figure out when's the best day for you when's the best time and the best location and um for, for us we had we had two reasonably close locations that i starred here and um we picked a day and got it over which which happened to be today um uh, you know along with some other errands that i had to do we we do that in the mix and uh, Cherokee was worried about there being a line when we got there. There was no line. We were the line. <laughs> it was it. We were in and out quick and easy. And you take this with you when you go vote. So everything that you research, every, your, your, your things that, that you've, you've done, you have a record of it. And, and you don't, and that, that way you also, you don't forget what you're, what you've chosen to do. Cause sometimes you, you could get in there and be like, what, 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 you know? So, but this a lot, you're allowed to take this with you and they need you to, and they want you to take it with you, you, you know, cause on the back there is a barcode where they scan you in to do your vote. Yeah. So. But this is, this one is mine from after I voted today. And of course, you know, election day, more election day information and addresses, you know, and it was even included a map on early voting sites so that you could find what you needed to do and where it is on the map, you know, how to help you find it and whatnot. Now, we didn't have any trouble finding where we chose to go today. And like I said, you know, we were in and out of there so quick. It wasn't, it, it was, it was awesome. You know, and then there's more information about the, the um, propositions that needed to be voted on. Um, but, um, and then of course it even came with directions on how you, vote with the machine you know you put the little card in that they give you after you after you've after you've logged in you know just touch and it's a touch screen so you just this is what i want this is what i want and you know so it, it explains that to you and and then it also um prints a backup paper ballot um that that is when you cast your ballot, it, it prints it, and um, it's not given to you. You keep this, and uh, but there is if there was any question about what was going on, and it, and that it has happening while you're there, it's printing, so that you can double check and make sure it's recording what you want, what you're what you're choosing. Um, so, but that was really cool to. This is one of the really cool things I, I like about living here. Um, it, it makes voting and keeping up with what's going on and what needs to be uh, voted on and when you're supposed to vote on them just so easy. And um, this is, you know, it should be this easy in every state. Unfortunately, it's it's not. And, uh, and, and when you go to certain things, there are, you know, get your driver's license or, or other certain things they ask you you you, you need to register a vote it's it's we so it's it's really quick and easy and it, i've found this to be the the easiest state to be informed in and to vote in all right and uh peace